All right, I didn't know that drunken peasants would make a response to my video that was critiquing uh, the Amazing Atheist video. I mean, you would think that my praising the majority of his video and stating that he made he said some really good things and that it was one of his best videos you know that there'd be, there'd be something to that but it just seems no um i wanted to make a response video but this is what happened and i the only time that i was able to watch it is when i was in the middle of my show in second life I, when I tried watching it on the computer, I've had problems all day trying to connect to YouTube, and YouTube's the only one I had a hard time connecting to. Try to play a video, and it just goes, just gives me the little spinny thing for forever. So I was able to watch some of it on this. I, I, in fact, I watched all of it eventually on this at different times when there wasn't that much going on in the club. And I'm just, I'm kind of frustrated. To me, it takes a lot of gall for someone to be, to get their panties in a bind because someone has slightly straw manned someone's position. And yet, the entire video of the entire time that they're critiquing me, everything's a straw man. Everything. That's what Drunken Peasants revolves around. That's why I don't like the show. It takes the, 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 the most surface layer element of what someone says or takes anything that's, that's said completely literally and then makes fun of it, pokes fun at this literal translation instead of trying to look at what someone is, is actually saying. It's a problem I have with the way some people actually make arguments. Don't look at what someone's actually saying. Now maybe he feels that I did that to what he was saying. My problem is he never, I can't say never, I will not say never, but he rarely talks about the positive things that he thinks could help situations. It's all talking negatively about the way other people are trying to make things better. Now, social justice warriors, the, I'd say 95% of the people who call themselves social justice warriors are batshit fucking crazy. And I know this, and I talk about this, and I admit this. But he had to even, every time I just mentioned the phrase social justice and, and made sure that I said that these people, the, the warriors, are batshit crazy, I can't mention social justice without him automatically still connecting it to social justice warriors. I mean, that's, I think they do it on purpose because it's funny. Okay, fine. Um... Then they made some comment suggesting that because I don't find drunken peasants funny, and I give the reasons why I don't find it funny, that I have a problem with anyone who likes that style of humor. Hey, you can like whatever kind of humor you, you want. Humor is completely subjective. Okay, I don't think Roseanne Barr in her later years is, is funny. I don't think Will Ferrell is funny. I used to not think that... Um, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> I just talked about him in the past. I showed a, a picture of him in, in the video. Uh, is it Chris Black? No, it's... Damn it, what the hell's his name? No. Rock. Chris Rock. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it's not right. I know it's Chris, but it's not. 
Um, anyway, you know, I used to not think Chris Rock was funny. Later, I found him funny. Um, I think Margaret Cho was funny. I don't know whether her more later stand-up is funny. There's a lot of people who think Margaret Cho sucks. You know, I, I mean, it's all s totally subjective. I, I love George Carlin. Um, I love Monty Python's Flying Circus. I love a lot of different types of humor. There's some that I don't. I think jackass is lame. I think people who, I think the kind of humor where you just straw man what someone says and go, oh, yeah, I think that's lame. I don't, I just, it's mean and the, it's like the entire purpose is to make whoever it is, if they actually see what you're saying, angry. Because you're completely misrepresenting what they're saying. You know? But whatever. If that's the type of humor you like, that's the type of humor you like. I have no say in that. When I say I personally think, and then whatever follows up from that, that's my personal subjective opinion. Come on, guys. But I guess my just doing this, oh, well, you're, it's supposed to be funny. You're not supposed to, to actually look at or argue anything that's said in Drunken Peasants because it's supposed to be funny, but it's serious, but it's funny, but it's serious, but, but they're, oh, they're, I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of the, the thing of, uh, it kind of reminds me of the satire that uh, uh, Bewildered Ape does. You know, oh, well, it's serious, but it's satire, but it's serious, but it's satire. You know, whatever. If you find it funny, fine. Am I butt hurt a little by this, by by their video on this? Yeah, I am. I am. I am a bit butt hurt by it. I'm all make no qualms about that. I am a bit butt hurt by it, especially since uh, well, now that video isn't isn't up anymore. But especially since that video was privated, and I can't even make a decent response to it. You know. So, but I was not trying to say that TJ literally does not care about social justice. I'm saying that he never talks about or rarely talks about what social justice, and I don't mean social justice warriors, I mean social justice is to him. You know, he said more in that drunken peasant's hangout about what he thinks would be social justice than I've seen in his videos. So I guess in some ways, I got him to discuss something he normally wouldn't. So I guess in that regard, I won so to speak, if there's a winner in this, my, that's not my goal is to, my goal is not to win, my goal is to get people to think. So, you know, there's all these, oh, is he your father comments? Oh, come on, guy, come on. I mean, the Drunken Peasants is all about critiquing other people's stuff with straw men. And you guys are going to get your panties in a bind because someone made a video saying, this video was great except for these things and I want to discuss these things. I'm not telling people any one particular way to look at anything. I'm not saying you have to look at this issue like this. No, I'm not saying that. You have to have this stance. No, that's not what I'm saying. Again, frustrations with drunken peasants with that. He does this to 
everyone. Straw man, straw man, straw man. Then if you get upset, oh, it's funny, it's supposed to be funny. Okay, fine. I guess I'm foolish for even making this video because, oh, it's it was supposed to be funny. Okay, fine. Fine. You know, it's obvious I'm butthurt by it. Okay? Again, I make no qualms about it. That type of humor is... I just I don't know how to I don't know how to respond appropriately to it. And I feel sorry for anyone who ends up being the brunt of the humor that's on drunken peasants. There's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can say, you can try to laugh with them. I mean, the things I had no problem with at all, zero problem with at all, is them making fun of me being uh, shirtless all the time, or me being fat, or I have the beard that blah, 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 whatever it is. No problem. No issues with that. I can laugh with that all the way, without issue. It's the other shit, man. It's the other shit. Straw man my position that's so funny, but how dare I actually critique something about him that he considers a straw man? Whatever. <laughs>